hey, this video is sponsored by NordVPN. That's right. That's spelled N-O-R-D-V-P-N. Thanks, Aaron. NordVPN is a great way to stay safe on the web. With NordVPN, you can block malware and ads, turn on CyberSec to avoid malware hosting websites, annoying ads, and botnet control. NordVPN also keeps your data safe behind a wall of next-generation encryption. That's spelled E-N-C-R-I. No, that's not right. It's okay. You don't need to spell it out for everyone, Aaron. I guess we should spell out that it's a great deal, however. <laughs> since, you <can laughs> since you can get four months free for NordVPN if you sign up using our link. That's spelled L-I-N-C. It's not, but that's all right, Aaron. That link is nordvpn.com slash gamegrumps. nordvpn.com slash gamegrumps. That's right. Okay, great. Thank you. Bye. B-A-I. Nope. Close. So close. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello. Oh. It's Raptor Boyfriend. It's Raptor Boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Version 2.0. You don't want to know what happened with version 1.0. The Raptor. Aaron, what is this? I don't know. Okay, me neither. We, we, we don't know what this is, actually. We just... We like the title. And... I mean, they can open doors now. So... Now? I mean... They can open doors before us. <gasps> Maybe that's what happened with version 1.0. <laughs> They learned how to open doors and killed whoever made the game. <laughs> All right, so let's let's start. Okay. Do you want to be Stella? <sighs> yeah, I'll be Stella. <laughs> it's been a while since our last appointment, hasn't it, Doc? This is a really shocking turn of events, that voice choice. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna lie, a lot's changed. I got these non-working scissors. Yeah, those don't look functional. I know it's kind of a cliche, but I'm living in the 90s. <laughs> My life didn't really start until last year when I fucked a raptor. All right, take it easy, Eric. <laughs> it didn't start until me and my dad moved to Lidl. <laughs> Lidl, this magical small town in the middle of nowhere, Ontario. Oh, okay. <laughs> I dreamed of moving here for so long. That's your Canadian accent? <laughs> That's like my Canadian accent in that voice. Perfect. Ever since I was a kid, I'd come to visit grandma and go to the local camp. <laughs> I don't know if I can make it through a whole playthrough with that voice. <laughs> it was like a fantastical adventure <laughs> every summer. I'm going back home to the lousy city. Going back home to the lousy <laughs> city felt like someone shaking me away from an amazing dream. But this time it was different. This time Lidl was going to be my home. The doctor's like... <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I just wish... I wish the reason we moved here wasn't... Raptor boyfriend. Wasn't because Grandma had pee 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 passed on. We used to be so close. <laughs> the doctor's like, passed on what? <laughs> passed on this life. You're not a smart doctor, are you? <laughs> but then right before high school, me and Dad stopped coming to Lado because... Oh, I can choose. Wow, you get to choose your own life. Dad and Grandma had a bad fight. Last time we were there, Dad and Grandma had this huge fight. He went up to the top rope, but she hit him with the steel chair. <laughs> and she was like, don't use the people's elbow on me! <laughs> it was something to do with Dad's work. I just remember being surprised that Grandma could yell that loud. She was like, I'm coming for ya! <laughs> she was so tiny. But that voice. After that, she only called during my birthday and holidays. And her and Dad barely talked. I think Dad really felt really bad about not seeing her again. It took a while for it to sink in for me. In movies when people die, it's always so dramatic and meaningful. And so it is in real life. Raptor boyfriend! <laughs> but other than the funeral and sadness, a lot of what you have to deal with is, really is a lot of paperwork. Oh man, this game is turning out to be the fun romp we hoped it would be. <laughs> We came up here because despite all that happened, I wanted to fuck a raptor! Alright, take it easy, man. <laughs> Grandma <out>. left dad <laughs> and everything. That included her house. So we moved in. I know. Talk about bittersweet, right? Back then- This place is crawling with meat-eating raptors! <laughs> <laughs> Back then, when we first moved in- I'm sorry, our time is up now. <laughs> 
That'll be four thousand dollars. <laughs> I didn't know how to feel. Dad told me that Grandma would have wanted me to enjoy my senior year, and so. But what the fuck does he know? Have They're you, all pissed have you at seen each other. that? Have you seen that meme where it's like two Lego, like a guy talking to his doctor, and he's like, "Doctor, I'm sad." The, do the doctor goes, "Sad is das backwards, and das not good." <laughs> Anyway, here's your bill, and it's like $3,000. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit is so funny. <laughs> That's what I set out to do. I don't remember. I had a lot going for me. Dad, let me have Grandma's old truck. I was going to a new school. School. Wow. Where I could make a good first impression, and... I was a ladle! Call me soup! <laughs> now I know that I haven't been great at meeting new people. I usually like to keep to myself. It was like totally my choice though. Oh. <laughs> See, the problem is. <laughs> Come on, Doc. Don't look at me like that. Ah, uh, fine. It wasn't by choice. I was a dweeb. A big fat dweeb is with an L practically tattooed on my forehead. No personal checks. <laughs> <laughs> I take a cash app now. <laughs> Is that what you want to hear? You're right. That wasn't fair. It's just, I'm still a bit sore about it. I guess I had trouble making friends because I'm always talking to bears. <laughs> always talking to tough animals. I move schools too much. Okay. Me and Dad move around so much that I couldn't really get to know anyone before I had to change schools. Every time Grandma passes away, we have to move again. <laughs> I'm but so she's sick of this. But she's resurrected by the dark arts. <laughs> what is this? Death five, death six. I can't even keep track anymore. <laughs> there she is again. Yeah. Oh no, that's just Raptor boyfriend. Remember, that's what this game's supposed to be about. Being the perpetual new girl, it's like being some kind of scared animal who ventured too far into civilization. Literally, I'm telling you, like, the icon for this game is like a cool looking raptor with his hat backwards <laughs> and like, got like a cool Walkman. Yeah, and like Sasquatch is behind him like, what's up? Yeah, yeah. We were, we, we were expecting a little bit more of a, a fast ramp up to the fun in this game. <laughs> Everyone's gawking, but they're also like, why is she here? So yeah, Doc, I hadn't really had the best luck before, but on that day, September 15th, 1997, the planet was alive somewhere that changed everything. Real Big Fish was at the top of the charts. <laughs> Let me tell you about my first day a little high. Eh, eh. Wait, is this supposed dead? to take place in the present day? I have no idea. Because if she was a high schooler in 1997, she'd be in her early 40s now. Uh, maybe she's... I mean, it did show her bedroom and it had like a phone. Oh yeah, maybe it is. Okay. I was on the way to Ladle High. Maybe it's like early 2000s. Yeah. Trying desperately not to freak out about the horrifying prospect of starting a new high school during senior year. It's going to be fine. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ladle's different from most places. It's good at spooning tomato soup. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Punch. What's the worst that could happen? I get shamed, kicked out of school, and regret my actions for the rest of my life. My comforting words weren't enough to calm me down, weirdly. I need a game plan. And a goal. Fortunately, if I have a good game plan, I, the offense should be able to pierce through the defense and I'll score a goal. <laughs> Alright, go, go, go! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Which part is this? <laughs> Which ball do I kick? Yes, that's it. Or throw? <laughs> I knew I was already under a lot of pressure. So I made a goal that felt very reasonable. I'm gonna become president! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be the coolest girl in school on the first day! The president of Spice! <laughs> Spice! <laughs> Everyone will be like, you, Stella Starosta, are the coolest girl in Ladle High. It seemed pretty doable. 
Oh no, my last name's not Starosta! <laughs> not doable anymore. <laughs> Game plan time. All I have to do is... I only just gotta... Meet a raptor. Here's how I'm gonna do it. I'll make myself into... Oh man. Jeez. Choices. Class clown. I'll make myself into the class clown. I'll be the funniest person in school. Everyone will laugh at my classic bits and come up to me like, how did you get so funny? And I'll tell them it's all about honing your craft. I'll make topical jokes and do great impressions to keep it light and fun. They'll all vote me most likely to be famous and that'll probably come true. It's like smash cut to her being like, the government! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, ooh! <laughs> <laughs> with a solid plan in place, I started getting closer to school. What's the deal with their plate food? Yeah. It's just like getting pelted, like, poop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cancel culture, am I right? <laughs> this is like 20 years before that. <laughs> then it hit me. What if I run into Taylor? Swift? <laughs> I didn't know how to feel about that. She was a pop star after all. Mm. Taylor was my camp friend. <laughs> he was a stuffed bunny. <laughs> I hadn't seen him since I was 13. We used to write each other in between summers. I remember being so excited every time I got one of his letters. It was like I was just a little bit closer to being in Ladle. <laughs> then the year I stopped going to camp, I also stopped writing. I didn't know why. Maybe it was because... Is that the game? What, the music? Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's, okay. it's like kind of intense. Maybe it was because... I had stopped going to camp. I had feelings for him. Or he changed too much. Changed too much. Maybe it was because I was worried that he changed too much into a raptor. <laughs> like, maybe we'd have nothing in common anymore. Like these human hands. <laughs> <laughs> and his Deinonychus claw. <laughs> <laughs> We were both about to go to high school, and that, like, changes you into a raptor? What if he changed so much I couldn't recognize him? I didn't think I could handle a Deinonychus claw. <laughs> is that what that, like, curly one on yeah, the toe yeah, is called? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I knew I had to focus, though. Whether I ran into Taylor or not, first things first. I need I'm sorry, I have to leave early. <laughs> I'm charging you for the full session! <laughs> no refunds! I understand. <laughs> I needed to become a class clown. God, this bear's a real hard ass. <laughs> What's your Venmo? No Venmo! <laughs> Only Cash App! <laughs> Episode 1, welcome to Ladle! We're doing it, buddy. Thought we were in Ladle. I, uh, I don't know. After going to the office to get registered, I really had to shit. I went to go find my locker. I was supposed to meet a class representative who was going to show me around Ladle High. They said they would meet me by my locker. I guess this is it. The one that says burnout. It had something leaking out of it. Yup, that's the locker I would get. Raptor juice? <laughs> oh, might as well put my stuff in there. It's just like bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh god! This locker smells like death! The smell was so potent that it made my eyes water. Ugh, I can feel it. It's so dense, like a stench blanket. I had to find the source before I fainted. Oh, it's the sock. <laughs> that gym sock. That damn gym sock. <laughs> it seems to be the center of the stink zone. That stank. That damn stank. <laughs> Ew, Ew, so gross! Shut the fuck up. The smell of the gross gym sock was creeping into the hallway. People were staring to no starting to notice. I'm like, gonna- Oh, that's people. I'm like, gonna throw up. <laughs> Where's that coming from? This is so embarrassing. I didn't want to be known as the smelly girl at school. So I shit myself? I had to do something. <laughs> oh my god. I don't open up Dark Souls and not see a dark soul. <laughs> this is my chance to become the class clown. Oh, it stinks, am I right? So funny. Art smells the worst. Damn. The bad ones, I mean. They're like perfumes, but bad. What's the deal with that? 
Topical humor. <laughs> Am I right? I was losing them. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! Oh, yeah! Fuck yeah! Raptor boyfriend! <laughs> oh, they even drew in the feathers. Good job, game designers. Yeah, they knew what was up. Yo, I fucking love him. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Shit just got so real. Oh my god. <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes. It was a velociraptor on a skateboard. Whoa. That dinosaur boy looked so cool. <laughs> <laughs> the way his feather crest flowed as he cut through the air. All right, I'm fully on board now. His powerful dinosaur <laughs> legs and sharp claws. This is what we paid the admission for. Such balance and grace. <laughs> but what did he want with me? Probably to kill you. What's <laughs> up? All right, everyone, this has all been a prank. A prank? Exactly. Another elaborate prank for me, the prankter. <laughs> and I'd like to thank uh, the new girl here for playing along and drawing attention to the steak. You're welcome. <laughs> That's right. She was in on it from the beginning. The crowd slowly moved on and then it was just me standing face to face with the raptor. Okay, I think we pulled that off. He talks the way a slot machine sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't disembowel me. Use skateboard code. <laughs> <laughs> they skateboard moves. Uh, I skateboard well. <laughs> you sure know how to do the boarding. The skateboarding. Why are you so smart with your Deinonychus brain? <laughs> <laughs> with the jumps and whatnot. You're good at that. Um, thanks. Or, um, you. Look, I know it's a lot to take in. Yes, I am a skateboarding velociraptor. No, I'm not here to eat you. I'm actually pretty partial to pizza, spaghetti, and small amphibians. Not some pretty new girl at school. <sighs> what are you, Italian? Oh. What? Because he likes pizza and spaghetti and oh. small amphibians. Do, do Italians like small amphibians? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice cover back there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what is that smell anyway? <laughs> Could I get the super pesh and a little bit of, uh, frog guts? Hold the mayo. <laughs> On the frog guts? Yeah, sometimes they make it with mayo. I'll get the check, please. Aaron, where are you going with this? <laughs> uh, I forgot what he asked. Uh, what's the smell? Some jerk left a sock in my locker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Soccer? Some total jerk left a grody sock in my locker. Total jerk. I don't know if it was someone's idea of a joke or if they were just really gross. Maybe, like, theoretically, the joke is actually pretty funny if you think about it for a little while. What? Okay, look, I put the stinky sock in your locker. I did it as a prank. I thought it would break the ice, make you feel at home here. You know, humiliate you in front of a large group of people. <laughs> like, like at home. <laughs> I worked super hard on it. I worked <laughs> super hard on it. Uh... I don't care. No, it. play along. Play along. Or apologize. You, oh. Don't fucking blow this, Aaron. It's <laughs> your one chance to get a cute raptor boyfriend. God, you're so right. Wait, I get it now. A stinky sock in my locker, and I didn't know it was there. You don't have to do this. <laughs> I know the prank sucked. No, no, it was good. <sighs> I appreciate you trying to make me feel better. Unfortunately, now I have to eat your head. Yeah. This is a pretty bad way- Oh. This is a pretty bad way to start your first day at Ladle here, huh? Yeah, it's not really going how I planned it. Really? You didn't plan this? That you'd be talking to a dinosaur? <laughs> you deserve a better prank than this. You know be a hilarious prank? If I killed and ate you. <laughs> anyway, my name's Robert <laughs> Raptorson. Who are you? I thought, this should be easy. Just tell him your name. Just tell him your name. Nothing fancy, I thought. Go for it and be natural. I'm Strella! <laughs> <sighs> yup. I mean, it was my first real conversation with a cute boy, and it was already messing it up. Hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> Strella. Cool. No, sorry. It's, um, never mind. I was, um, I'm supposed to meet the class representative to show me around the school. I guess they forgot. 
Nope, that's me, class representative. Who better to represent a class of humans than a fucking raptor? <laughs> you might have thought I died out during the Cretaceous period of the Mesozoic <laughs> era, but oh, you'd be sadly mistaken. <laughs> I gotta get the class. <laughs> Really? Sure. Who better to show you around than me? I am very representative of what this school has to offer. Great. And my family has lived in Ladle for generations. Millions of generations. You might have heard of us. <laughs> the Raptorsons. Right. That is your name. I actually vaguely remembered hearing about the Raptorsons when I came to Ladle. I wondered, could they be Raptors? <laughs> the answer was yes. I recognize that name. I just didn't think we were actually raptors. <laughs> I get that a lot. <laughs> no, 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 that wasn't what I was thinking. Yeah. I get it. Even with all the bizarre shit. Oh my god. They could just drop S bombs? <laughs> Even with all the bizarre shit. In whoa, Lido, whoa, we, whoa. <laughs> we tend to stand out. Uh. Does it bother that you, that you stand out? Oh, I desperately wanted to know if there were other dinosaurs. <laughs> Not at all. Everybody knows me, and I handle that pressure really, 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 really well. <sighs> yeah, I can tell by your nervous face and sweat mark. <laughs> oh. Anyways, I'm supposed to show you the gym, the library, and the soccer field. But the gym has a black mold problem. The library is a library. And the soccer field is just a muddy hole since our groundskeeper disappeared. In a strange clawing accident. <laughs> <laughs> disappeared? So yeah, they found him covered in gashes. Yeah, so some people believe he was a victim of the Lidl Ripper. Oh, God. Who? Oh, just a serial murderer that lives in the woods and butchers people with an axe. Most people think he's just a legend made up by the superstitious town folk. It would be hilarious if he was the Ripper, but he used an axe. Oh, I'd love that. <laughs> He's just like really handy with an axe. Yeah. But I think he's real. But I think he's real. Let's let that simmer on the back burner. For now, let me show you the true pride and joy of Ladle High. Okay. I gotta say I'm enjoying this. <laughs> this is like, the people who wrote this game threw in a lot of intrigue. I was ready for a big tour of the school, but Robert just took me down the hall. So, what do you think? It's a nice display case. No, not the display case. The matching sweaty gym sock in there. <laughs> What's inside it? These are the greatest achievements of Ladle High. Notice anything about them? <laughs> the one that says most like a raptor? You didn't even win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of them is a key item. Sports? I see it. They are all sports related. No, well, yes, but check out all those snowboarding championships. Notice anything about them? <laughs> That's right, I won them all. You skateboard and snowboard? Yes, you'd think that dying out before the Ice Age would have been a problem, but <laughs> I'm a bit of a board savant. <laughs> well, I don't really compete anymore. How about you? You ever win any trophies or medals? Nah, I never really competed to begin with. The only thing I was ever any good at was history class. I was really good at studying the history of snowboarding? <gasps> <gasps> oh shit! <laughs> but they don't really hand out trophies for... Knowing a lot about the inventor of toilets, correcting people about Viking helmets, being a fangirl for the Middle Ages, the inventor of toilets. <laughs> <laughs> for knowing a lot about the inventor of modern toilets, that sucks, cause I'm a specialist. <laughs> yeah, it's a bummer. Get it? Never mind. <laughs> hey, good butt joke. What are you doing after school? Um, to really complete your tour, I have to show you the lake. <laughs> Make it out with a raptor after school, hopefully. Um, nothing. It's a tar pit. Hundreds have been <laughs> killed in there. <laughs> yeah. Most of my friends, many mastodons. <laughs> the lake? Yeah, you gotta see the lake if you want to know the real ladle. Okay. I'm actually, well, the thing is, I'm not actually new to ladle. Don't accept my invitation so lightly. The lake is a challenge. A test. Of what? Nothing. Just your worthiness, finger guns. Um, 
Okay, you look worried. It's actually going to be pretty chill. Oh, okay. But also be prepared and stuff. Okay. And if you run into anybody cool, bring them along. Oh, okay. I'm trying to get as many people to come as I can. T totally. Anyway, here's my number. It's five. Back in the <laughs> 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 the Mesozoic era, there wasn't a lot of competition for telephone numbers. I hope to see you there, but because I want to know. Alexander Graham Bell was a T-Rex. <laughs> if you are worthy, uh. still you later, Smella. I mean, sorry, it's Strella, right? Actually, it's Stella. Oh, right. Okay, cool. Just walking away like. God, I fucked it up! <laughs> fucked it up! He's just like clawing people. <laughs> <laughs> that was how I met Robert. He's so cute. I was still thrown off by him giving me his number. That had never happened before. Then he asked me to hang out after school. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Hang out with him? I didn't know if it was a date, another prank, or just a friendly invitation. Fortunately, he died later that afternoon. The world of the dinosaurs was vicious and brutal. <laughs> <laughs> the end, Raptor Boyfriend. <laughs> I didn't even know where the lake was. There were lakes all over Ladle. Which lake was the lake? I thought that after that, the rest of the school day would be pretty uneventful. But the weirdness was not even over yet. <laughs> <laughs> After a bit of botched improv during a reading of Hamlet in English class, I headed back to my locker. I think I've pretty much contained the stink. I will just have to keep this locker closed, pretty much for all time. Uh, uh, where were you this morning? Well, I was a little late. Oh, and what about last night? Is she a bug? I think she's a moth lady. Moth? I was unpacking. Well, I have a lot of emotions to unpack. I mean, come on. <laughs> come on! The light is on! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not true. I said I wouldn't pack, but I ended up walking around behind my grandma's house. Yeah, every time, like, someone <laughs> gets into an argument with her, they just turn on a lantern. We were supposed to hang out- WHOA! And she just, like, gets, like- <laughs> Until she stops with her face one inch from the lantern. <laughs> What? This is how it always has, isn't it? You come and go whenever you want. Uh. If you want something from me, then you are around. But if I want something from you, you just vanish like you always do. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Sometimes you're right there being all nice and it's like you and I were a real thing. And other times it's like you're lighting a citronella candle around my heart. <laughs> you don't even exist. <laughs> That was an accident, I'm sorry! <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a regular candle! <laughs> yup, she's gone again. Um, excuse me. Whoa, uh, sorry. I didn't see you there. Wait, oh, was she not talking to you? The, whoa. <laughs> Cha. Oh, oh, oh. Cha. Who was this girl? She was so cool and absolutely gorgeous. Wow, were those wings? Wait, so who is the moth girl talking to? I don't know. Oh, okay. And Antenna, was she some sort of magic fairy? My moth. <laughs> <laughs> My moth. <laughs> what do you eat with? My moth. <laughs> 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 What's your favorite subject in school? Moth. <laughs> <laughs> wow, how dreamy. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, what, huh? You said excuse me and then wow. Then you just stood there staring at me for like at least two minutes. It's been weird. <laughs> Well, I guess we'll find out what they're what's going on here next time on Game Grumps. Oh man, I, do, I you know what I am I do want to know what happens. Mm -hmm. I also want to know what the first letter of uh, Day's shirt is, unless it really says "rash," <laughs> which I would love. Also, <laughs> could be an apostrophe. Could be. Okay, just as an addendum to this episode, I would like to say um, I didn't want to say it because it would have killed the flow of the comedy. But Deinonychus was what we generally think of as raptors. Um, 
in Jurassic Park, Steven Spielberg liked the name Velociraptor because he thought it sounded awesome, but uh, actual Velociraptors were very small. Um, so the dinosaurs you see in Jurassic Park were actually called Deinonychus. Um, and then, years later, because you had said um, off camera that the Toronto Raptors are going to be bummed when they find this out, uh, they were actually bailed out because some uh, Jurassic Park loving paleontologists discovered a new dinosaur, uh, which is a lot like Deinonychus, and they named it the Utah Raptor. Um, so there could actually be a dinosaur out there called the Raptor that looked like the scary dinosaurs from Jurassic Park. And now we have learned something. All right, see you later, everyone. Bye. Yeah, well, I mean, the Utah team is named Jazz, and they don't like jazz up there. Raptors probably like jazz. Raptors like, Raptors love jazz, and I'm sure some Utahns yeah. like jazz.